Last home game for the Sheffield Steelers in the round robin qualification section of the Challenge Cup against the Coventry Blaze. Stephen Gertson in town, he'd get a standing ovation. What was Rod Savage doing on the ice? Three weeks ago, he broke his leg. Kids, are you ready? Let's get it on. The Sheffield Steelers and the Coventry Blaze. Early power play for the Sheffield Steelers. Persistence, first of all, from Baldwin. And then from Masienko. Penalty called. Mark Smith was to head to the penalty box. That early power play was irresistible from the Sheffield Steelers. They were on it right from the get-go. Good, Baldwin. Well, he could have had three in the first period. Baldwin on the power play. But the Steelers, persistence. And they would get their go-ahead goal. It was tic-tac-toe. Baldwin shot. Colton Fretter, calmest man on the puck again. Steelers led a goal to nil, 3-19. Waugh and Baldwin with the assists. Fretter picking up his fifth goal of the season. He is calm on the puck, isn't he? Colton Fretter. Those close-in little shots like he was at Ice Sheffield last week at the arena, 1-0, the Sheffield Steelers. But give the Coventry Blaze their due, they were straight back at it. Steelers had possession, but then good transition from the Blaze. And good, was that offside? Was that offside? Ashley Tate didn't think so. He kept at it. Derek Lee, though, got the final touch. 1-1. Only a minute later, 4-14. Rawlick and Tate on the assists. Again, good persistence from Ashley Tate. And Johnny on the spot, Derek Lee, made it 1-1. This first period, though, was all about the Sheffield Steelers. Possibly as good a period as you're likely to see from Sheffield. And certainly the best of the season. They were all over the ice with speed, tenacity. And they're led by the just simply brilliant Masienko right now. And you'll see here, Masienko, patience, he's smart, he's waiting, he finds Baldwin, Baldwin, forehand, backhand again. Gold Baldwin shoots and scores. Oh, oh Gold Baldwin, that's his fourth of the year, you know. And he found his way, a Stewart. Steelers led 2-1, 11-41, big Gord. He was to put a smile on our faces at 11-41 and an even bigger one at the end of the night. The reality was that Tyler Masienko was simply unstoppable, irresistible. In fact, the only way you could stop Masienko was by taking a penalty. And that's exactly what the Coventry Blaze did at the end of the first period. Chalmers, good night. Hacked and whacked down. Good poke check from Stewart. But Masienko at this point in the game was just on a different level. Steelers hitting the post, in fact, just after the Masienko penalty. And it was same old story in the second period. You want to stop Masienko, you've got to take a penalty. Ashley Tate takes a skate away. Penalty shot. Steelers had the chance to extend their lead. You'll see again on the replay, Masienko's away. Just watch a little whack from Ashley Tate. Just knocks the skate away. Penalty call. And Masienko would go one-on-one -on -one with Stewart just one minute and 11 seconds into the second period. More moves than May West, Masienko, as he beat Stewart on the penalty shot. 3-1, to the Steelers led. 21-11. That's his fourth in five games. So good we see it three times. Look at that, four. Back and deep. Four and deep. Poor old Stewart doesn't know if it's Christmas or breakfast. And a lovely finish. What a signing he's been for us. End of the second period. Game-changing save, Frank Doyle. He heads it. Hits him straight, flat in the mass. Bang. Puts his body on the line, Frank Doyle. Stunning stop that could have changed the game. A wry smile from Frank and Baldwin. The Coventry Blaze threw everything at the Sheffield Steelers, third period. But Frank and his defensive teammates, well, they stood tall. Mark Lefebvre pulled the Blaze goalie. Steelers had one chance at the empty net. Matthew Ward just shoots wide. Hit from Griffin on Masienko at the end. But it was all too little, too late. And the Sheffield Steelers rounded off a fine performance on a Saturday night. 
under strength, under man, but an outstanding performance against Mark Lefebvre's Coventry Bray side. A 3-1 victory for the Steelers. Stewart picks up the Man of the Match award. Gord Baldwin for the Sheffield Steelers. Our thanks to Holfast, who were our match sponsors. Baldwin went to do the fast lap, but he did it a little bit differently. In Gord Baldwin style. Fans loved it. Owner loved it. Everybody loved it. Why wouldn't you? A great end to a great night in the Steelers' victory. On Sunday, they'd go to beat the whole Stingrays and win their Challenge Cup group. That meant we spoke to a happy Steelers coach, Jared Adams. Jerry, congratulations. Uh, another excellent performance at home. It was good. It's 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 winning. I think anytime you can kind of do it, it's it's contagious. Those kind of things. And, uh, I thought our habits kind of got away from us a little bit in the second period, but we addre readdressed it in the third period. And it, it's difficult. I don't think they had uh, had a great night on their side with the uh, the energy that they produced. So to kind of counter any high energy, we didn't really have to. I don't think we were ever really in too much danger. Um, but in the same breath, you know, we probably could have created a little bit more. But anytime you win three one, you play well in your rink. Everybody should be happy, and the players are playing well. First period especially, we were outstanding, and some of the hockey that was played was tremendously exciting. It was good. The, the power play was incredibly good. The movement and the team play, and that's kind of exactly where we need to be. And it is difficult to kind of keep that pace, keep that energy for 60 minutes in every game, every week. So we've got a lot of games, and, um, you know, it, it was good in the first period. I thought it was superb, yeah. Baldwin scored, but he could have had a hat-trick in that first period. Yeah, he's been playing incredibly well. Um, you know, the offense is coming too. He's making some good passes and he's being physical, so he's doing a lot of good things. And, you know, it, it's good to see he's a big fellow with a, with a kind of a hidden skill. He's got a lot of skill for a big guy, so it's good for him to get some rewards. Frank Doyle as well. He wasn't uh, left without work to do, and every time he was called upon, he, he did a great job again. Yeah, well, there's a big save in the second period. I think with about a minute left, that kind of, you know, really solidified the game for us, I think, and that save, it could have been a different game if that one went in, but Frank, uh, Frank's another one, he's, he's been fantastic. If you've learnt anything this week, you've learnt you've got some guys with some guts and character, you have Thomas who leaves the game, gets X-ray, comes back and plays, Freda comes back and plays, Roddy Savage breaks a leg three weeks ago, comes back and plays, uh, it shows something about what you've got here, doesn't it? You know, it's, um, it's good for team morale to see those guys kind of back in and, you know, they get the clearance from the medical team, medical team the doctor and the physio and it's their choice to be able to play and, you know, I think I'm just really happy that they chose to play again. It's good for team morale and they, they both, you know, Rod and Tomo, they played extremely well tonight. So uh, I'm really happy for those guys again. I think everybody else in the draft room was really happy too. By the time this goes out, the Challenge Cup campaign will be over as far as the qualification round is concerned. And it's been a successful uh, few weeks, hasn't it? The Challenge Cup's been good to us this year. Yeah, I think we're just we're playing well as a team. I think, um, you know, I still think there's a lot more to come. You know, we, we need some bodies back in our lineup. But overall, you know, we're progressing. I keep using that word, but we're progressing really well. And, you know, we plan on being in Sheffield for that Challenge Cup final. That's a, you know, it's not a goal. That's where we plan to be. And, you know, you got to enjoy the whole process. And uh, right now we're enjoying it by winning. Just finally, I don't know if the owner cut into the dressing room, but he'll probably offer Gord Baldwin a five-year extension just for his hot lap. Did you see it? Uh, no, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't see the hot <laughs> laps. I hear they're pretty good. So, you know, it, I think... Uh, it's Tony Smith friendly, this one. Uh, is it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> if it's, um, you know, it's, I think it's a pretty cool thing that started. And, uh, you know, the guys need to keep it. It's a pretty cool thing.